Welcome, Coldwater fans, back to uh, Coach's Corner. Week um, week twelve. Week twelve. Fortunately, we're still. Well, I'm still talking, and we're still playing. So that's that's a good sign. Uh, review of last week's game. Uh, we played uh, Pemberville Eastwood, which is up near Bowling Green. Uh, fortunately, we uh, we won forty two to to sixteen in a in a really a pretty hard fought battle. Um, um, they got off to a good start with their wing T offense and and made a few plays and and and, and got a touchdown on us early. Um, then we scored uh, three in a row, I think, and um, got off to a great start running the ball. Brody Horn and Mitch Shane Hare and were really running the ball well. And Brody had some nice breakaway uh, breakaway runs and and threw the ball around a little bit. But but really, we become probably more of a running team than a passing team. So so uh, good good first half. 21-16. They got a late score and a field goal before half. So it was really tight. Um, we came out second half. And had a nice, really, really, uh, a really nice uh, eleven-play drive to uh, kind of get the momentum back to us. And then they fumbled, and and, and it kind of snowballed in the third quarter. And uh, um, you know their coach just felt like um, really, really good guy that that we kind of overwhelmed them in the second half. They had a bunch of guys playing both ways, and and uh, just felt like our depth was was a little bit too much for them. Um, but we played hard. We played well. Uh, the, the, I think the players really were. Really, were on edge because we weren't sure. We, we we knew they were a pretty good team and well coached, and and so they were on edge um, that uh, hey, this could be it for us, and and let's let's make sure we're ready. Um, so so great win for us, great win for these for these guys, and so we so we move on to um, the uh, Chippewa Chips uh, way over in Wayne County near um, near Akron. Um, don't know exactly where it is in Doylestown, I guess Doylestown Chippewa. Um, they come off a big win. They scored 62 points against the number one against the number one seed, uh, Columbiana or Columbia, I guess, um, up north. And so uh, they're coming in excited. Um, they're they're in kind of an upcoming program. A first year coach, um, and and they've coming off a a one in 29 uh, previous three years. So so they're excited and they're they're uh, pumped pumped to play. I'm sure. And uh, we play in Tiffin. Um, at the at the Tiffin Stadium, I think we played there several years ago. I wasn't here yet, but but I think we played there uh, one or two years. We've practiced there on our way to Canton a few times, really three, four, five times. So we were a little bit familiar with that. I guess the young kids are or the old kids are familiar with practicing there. Um, you know, we're looking to to have a good week and and um, and, and prepare like we did last week and, and come with some energy on Saturday. And hopefully we continue on. Uh, the other, the other, uh, the other matchup is Huron and Loudonville. Again, we played Huron several, a uh, couple, couple times about uh, in the mid, mid 2004, five, six, somewhere around there, and uh, had some good battles with them. And then Loudonville, I don't think we've ever played. So, so uh, hopefully, hopefully we move on. And uh, that game again might be, uh, I guess, if we can move on, game in possibly Tiffin or possibly um, Finley. Finley, maybe even Bowling Green, or something like that. So, um, thanks for uh, for watching. If, uh, if if you've uh, had your had your eyes on the uh, on the coach's corner, and uh, go Cavs. <laughs>